kid ain't finished here yet. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Party punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. while the kid was out.
worry. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. to ship live munitions down the path. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. survive the calamity. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Skin on the squirt. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. Stuck inside one of those fancy cages. No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. He throws a switch. Possibly go wrong. Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in.
squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the motherland, tax-free. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. It packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. That's Windbag Ranch. Perfect place to work a blade if you got the stomach for it. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. The kid sees a plane, frozen faces all around. <laughs> You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming. But someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. Sees him there again, in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all. So it was like beyond the walls. Yeah. 
Nor did the bird boy. Didn't make it. The Jawsons. They didn't make it. Grady Senior, Grady Junior. They didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survives as well. Kid does what he has to do. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Well, look what we have here. The memorial. Be a kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. <laughs> <laughs>